Aditya L1, of course, is the mission that we are talking about. The solar ultraviolet imaging telescope instrument on board uh, the Aditya L1 spacecraft has now successfully captured the very first full disk images of the sun. The images have been taken in uh, 2000 to, uh, to, I beg your pardon, 200 to 400 uh, nanometer wavelength range, used various scientific filters to capture the photosphere and chromosphere of the sun. The image has captured sunspots, plague and quiet sun regions and have provided scientists with pioneering insights into the intricate details of the sun's photosphere as well as a chromosphere. Uh, this is in fact uh, very interesting uh, because we would got uh, very little information uh, from the Aditya L1 mission up until now and this is of course a very crucial update regarding India's quest to of course unearth secrets regarding the solar system. Meanwhile, joining us on the broadcast this morning is Group Captain Vian Jha, who is former Joint Director of the DRDO. Good morning, sir, and thank you for joining us on News X. A crucial development. Uh, could you uh, share with our viewers what do you make of these photographs? Sort of take them through what exactly can we see and understand from these photographs? Very good morning, Pia, and to all your viewers, especially those having the scientific acumen into the various development happening through ISRO. Uh, this is a very unique photograph. You know, uh, we all look at the sun, we worship the sun, rising sun in the morning, and again have a glimpse of the, of the sun during the sunset. That Those are the only time that we can have a look. But Aditya now will be having a look at the sun 24 into 7 as it is going to the uh, L1 point for the insertion. And while on the way to the uh, L1 point, it is taking those snaps, those studies, all the instruments are almost all the instruments are active. There are seven sets of instruments which are visualizing the sun. And uh, as we look at the sun, we usually look at the visible spectrum, you know, that violet uh, from uh, ranging from violet to the red. Those colors of the sun, they all unite together and look white as we look at the sun. But something uh, which eyes cannot see, these are the spectrums what all these instruments will be studying. Today we have got the uh, uh, no scan or photograph of the sun in the ultraviolet range. Uh, ultraviolet, uh, you know, the rays are the one which has got more energy into its shorter wavelengths. And in that, today we are seeing the sun into the complete disk with the spots in between wherever there is a concentration of the ultraviolet. Uh, you know, uh, let the nation and the world be prepared to uh, explore more and more secrets of the sun. Right now, it has come from the visual uh, 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 spectrum. Now, the ultraviolet spectrum in the coming days, we can have another photograph. In the X-ray range, there could be uh, uh, gamma rays as well. Of course, this Aditya doesn't have the instruments for studying the gamma rays, but all these are possible. On one part of the uh, spectrum, you know, when we say the solar radiation, that solar radiation contains the visible as well as the ultraviolet X-rays, gamma rays on one side, and the, on the longer wavelength side, it has got the uh, uh, infrared and the microwaves and uh, radio waves. You know, all these are there. So today we have got the uh, the vis uh, visible uh, plate of sun in the ultraviolet range. Sweet, as we call it, the instrument set of the instrument that is taking the uh, uh, scan of the ultraviolet. <coughs> Here we see. And this will be giving the scientists the world over lot many information that what are those small uh, spots from there is a more of the ultraviolet uh, uh, flares coming up through. We of course know the uh, uh, solar flare, solar wind, we are aware of this in which lot of other radiations also come through. But in the coming days, when we look at this uh, ultraviolet uh, mapping of the sun, the photograph of the sun, it still gives you those spots. Uh, you know, there are various dark areas and various very bright areas. And those are only showing you that how much of the ultraviolet are coming from different uh, part of the disk of the sun. 
So be ready. Uh, it's a, a scientific fest which Aditya will be giving to us in the coming days. And this is one small input to the world that how the, in the ultraviolet spectrum we are visualizing the sun. There could be more of the photographs coming in the coming days. Yeah. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.